Oh, it's pitch black, and at 800 degrees, this room is hotter than an oven. These are the dangers our firefighters face every day. It's Fire Prevention Week, created after the Great Chicago Fire killed 250 people 148 years ago today. Tonight, Target 11 investigator Rick Earl is live for us after getting an exclusive look inside the training that firefighters go through. Yeah, Peggy and Joe, over the years I've covered countless fires, but this is the very first time I've seen it from the other side. For an entire day, I went through the exact same training exercises as those Pittsburgh firefighters. Take a deep breath and it'll suck to your face. Tighten your straps up and then the helmet goes on top. All suited up and ready to go. It is a little bit heavier. Go a little deeper on that. Remember what you learned in there about staying low. What are we looking at here, about 40 feet? This is Fire Ops 101, sponsored by the Pittsburgh Firefighters Union. A rare chance for ordinary citizens like myself to learn what it takes to be a firefighter. This is important to educate our community leaders and our elected officials and our political leaders on what we do. Too often people have a Hollywood version of what firefighters do and it, that's not the case. I took part in the grueling day-long training session along with Congressman Connor Lamb, State Representative Mike Terzai, and about 30 other novices. We went through a variety of drills and scenarios from CPR training to how to treat a heroin overdose. We also climbed a ladder truck four stories high. Wow. Just don't look down. And we went into a smoke-filled building on our hands and knees and simulated the rescue of a trapped firefighter. It was dark in there. All three of you guys are going to go in. You're going to watch them kind of build up a fire, let it grow, let it come across the ceiling. It's as much as we can within reason. All suited up, got the oxygen ready to go into the burning building. The fire roared off the wood pallets and hay and began traveling across the ceiling, reaching a temperature of 800 degrees. We then turned on the hose and put out the flames, just like real firefighters. It's hot in this gear, it's hot in there. The hose was heavy, you know, something else, man. I mean, it's physically demanding, but it's also emotionally and mentally draining, too. I mean, a couple times I almost freaked out in there. No, it can be. Yeah, it's not for everyone. Does it give you a new appreciation for the job they do? It does, and it gives me an appreciation for the job we have to do in the legislature, because we have to make sure they have all the right equipment. Okay, so it's on demand. One of our trainers, firefighter Tom Wasco, who works out of the Beachview Station, said after 32 years on the job, it's still the best job in the world. You wouldn't take this job if you didn't want to help people. That's that's what it came to, man. Yeah, and, and We're here to help people. Rick, that was a remarkable behind the scenes look. I'm curious if it took a toll on you today. Absolutely, Joe. They had me climbing and crawling all day long. I was sore for several days. And one thing every one of those firefighters told me is if there's a fire, they want to be there. Remarkable men and women of the Pittsburgh Fire Bureau. Joe? Yeah, that's for sure, Rick. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be sore, a little bit more sore tomorrow. <laughs> Just going out on a limb. Target 11 investigator Rick Earl reporting live for us tonight. Rick, thank you.